Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and in today's video I'm going to share how you can set up a multi-color sketch design. So I'm just choosing a design from the Leonardo Design Studio software. I needed to ungroup the file a couple of times for what I was going for and then I needed to release the path on the background in order to be able to adjust this. So I'm just altering the design so it would fit my needs in what I was using it for. And then I am aligning the design. You can see that it has multiple colors. Leonardo sees colors and that's how it's broken out on the send tab. So now I'm just using a rectangle to size my design so I can get that how I want it and be able to know for sure that that's going to be the size that I need. And then once I have that, I'm just going to move my template, my rectangle off to the side and save that for later. And then in order to sketch in the exact location, you want to right click and mirror horizontal. You do not want to mirror this on the send tab. It will not sketch in the appropriate place if you do that. So you want to flip horizontal on the design tab and do it yourself. And then once you're ready, you're going to go to the send tab, use current mat location and then click send and it's going to be broken out into colors. Choose your pen tool. You're going to need to test for your force. I'm using the sublimation markers and a force of one works well. And then I'm going to set up the machine. I'm going to place a piece of copy paper onto my cutting mat and I actually load my pen in first. You wanna make sure your pens are upright for about 20 minutes before you start with the sublimation markers. And then I found that I needed to back off the pen a little bit when I installed it. You're gonna go back to your software, send a cutter, and it's going to send that. Every single pen is going to vary in where you need to have that sweet spot. So I'm using a piece of copy paper so that dot does not get onto my sheet that I am working on. I'm going to come back to the software, choose the next color, send to cutter, and then it's going to do that in the appropriate location. As long as you have mirrored it with sublimation markers, you have to mirror. If you're not using the sublimation markers, then you don't need to mirror the design. I'm showing my dot, go back to the software, choose the next color, send to cutter. And then it's going to finish out this sketch. And each time I'm going to take my little scrap of copy paper, I'm going to scribble and make sure the pen is working. And then I'm going to adjust that pen in the housing and use that scrap of paper so it doesn't make a dot on my worksheet. And then I just continued to adjust the colors, go back to Leonardo, select the next one and repeat until you are finished with your design. Sublimation markers should be stored flat when they're not in use, but you do want to set them upright to get that ink flowing about 20 minutes before you start. I'm gonna share a couple more tips here as soon as this is finished. The orange one wasn't dropping all the way in. That's why it took me a little bit of time to mess with that. You just wanna make sure you don't want your pen touching the paper when you start. You want it to be above that paper. So here's a look at the finished sketch. And then I wanna show you some things about the markers. So you, you, depending on your pen style, um, with the sublimation markers, there are a couple different tips of on the end of that marker. Where that tip is located is going to be where it touches down, and that makes a difference on where your sketch is going to occur. So here I am showing with a fine point marker, I should have chosen a different color, um, this one here is a green Caesar marker that has a chisel tip. So you can see the difference here between the fine tip and the chisel tip. The chisel tip is off center, so your point of contact is going to be different than your fine point. So here I'm just going to press it down, and then depending on how I have that in the housing is where that chisel tip touches down. So I have rotated this in the housing several times and just pressed it down so we can take a look at where that point of contact is. So you can see that now my blue dot is right in the middle of the right dot there. Um, here's a look at the Caesar markers. The black set has three different tips in it, a fine point chisel and a round. Now you wanna be very careful not to smush the tips. 
And then the best way to do this is to test it. I'm going to include a file in the description below, as well as links to the sublimation markers, but you can take this file and you can just test it. So I just drew a bunch of rectangles, changed the different colors, added some text in the middle of the design, and this gives you some practice with switching out your markers and coming back to the software to send it, and it also saves you. But these sublimation markers can be used with regular copy paper, so it's really not difficult to test that. So I'm just going through the process here of setting it up, and every single time I set my marker in there, I use a scrap piece of paper, place that in there, and then the dot is marked on the paper. So it's not marked on the sheet I am working on. You can always cut that off, but I found, especially with the markers, if I use the yellow marker after the black marker, then the tip of the yellow marker was discolored. And so I just started using this scrap piece of paper. You also wanna scribble with any of your pens. If a pen is not going to write with your handwriting, on the material that you are using, it is not going to write by the machine. The machine is not magic. So writing with the machine is just like writing with your hand. We have all had pens that don't write on credit card slips or certain types of paper. The same can be said for using it with your machine. So I just continued to swap out for this test. Again, that test file is in the description below. And there's a look at the full test. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and thanks for joining me. Have a great day.